Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany from The Imperium, and this is the 2024 vlog number seven. So, in this vlog, I probably won't have a ton to share. I have not yet cleaned up my, well, no, that's not true. I did clean some of my office. It actually is a little bit cleaner. Um, but I'm working on another wholesale order, so Donna is laying on it. George is in their hanging bed. Um, next weekend, um, I will be heading to St. Louis for a, an open so weekend at So Whatever Studio. So I am trying to like cut a lot of stuff out and prepare it to sew it there. Kind of want to see how many rosies I can sew in one weekend. So <clears throat> the other day I did a live and I mostly cut out three of them. Um, I still need to cut the linings for them, but I have another one ready to go. Technically, I have another one that is in order. I've been waiting on webbing. Um, it might just end up there that weekend, too. So that would be five, but I have the starts of six more prepped donuts. Like, that is for an order, whatever. Um, so before I go there, I will share everything I have prepped and ready to sew. I grabbed a Nanette that I had like started probably like a year and a half ago. Should probably make it. Um, <clears throat> I need to do a live soon. I have this fab this uh, vinyl from Fabric Therapy that I need to sew up. And I'm going to match it with this um, really nice like glossy black Lux vinyl from Let Me Know that drops on April 15th. A make a rosy and a purse pal um pair and i'm not gonna keep it i think i'm gonna use the purse pal to make an actual tutorial video because i have not yet made a tutorial for that so um i got some fabric therapy strikes in oh i got both of them i wasn't sure exactly what i got Okay, so I gotta make at least two things. Maybe some rosies. A kid, or do I? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, this is really cute. Um, it says Alice print. This is really pretty. I'm trying to, like, here, so you can see it better. What? Don't it? And she said, Mom, I went up. Look how cute he is. Okay. Anyways, so I got... This Alice print and this card coordinate to go with it. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna make yet, but it is really, really cute. And then there's also Star Wars. I got this like Star Wars newspaper print. It reminded me of the backstitch um, Harry Potter like newspaper print they had years ago and they made a lot of stuff with that and it was really fun so some things to make um technically that round will have already opened when this vlog goes live so I need to get those done soon I don't know what I'm making yet but I'm excited okay um I think so today is Saturday so like I hadn't recorded anything all week um I think today I have a real big box of webbing coming from Wizardry. I don't think I have any other mail I'm waiting on. I'm going to place a real big hardware order with more me know, but I'm just going to pick it up next weekend when I'm there. Um, so I'll like end this vlog probably Thursday night and work on having it up. And then um, I leave Friday morning, so I'll just start the next vlog then. But yeah, anyways, I will definitely at least check in and show you what I have made before I leave and donut stock and um, whatever I'm taking with me in the hopes to finish sewing. So I think I can make 10 rosies and that's just going to feel great. Uh, my next show is May 4th. Um, so I'll probably make some like moon dances. Oh, and Tuesday totes, some smaller things. Um... It's a punk rock flea market, so they kind of like lower price things. So probably make a new batch of tumblers. Um, 
I'm going to try to this year do a lot of like batch sew lives and I was like writing down like what can I do. We do random lives here so anyways I'll get you in the next clip. So current situation working on some strikes cutting some stuff watching the traders and then I'm like oh George got in the bed. Donuts were they're so cute. Like, I want to be one of my cats. But anyways, I'm uh, pressing filled toys for um, a wholesale order. And just working away while they press. Okay. I apologize. I'm not going to be able to turn my dehumidifier off. And it is going off. But we have crazy weather. So much rain. It's going to be running. Um, I got my wizardry um box in a lot of vinyl and then i also got another order in i'm recording my purse pal tutorial um it's drying right now so that's over there and cat toys are stacked everywhere i feel like i don't have a table right now um okay hang on here probably should have already done this got it all right so i placed a large Order from Wizardry Stitchery and Crafts. Uh, and then there was a sale the day my order came. I was like, that checks. Um, I got, oh, the dehumidifier turned off. I got um, book stacks and moon zipper pulls. And then I got a lot of webbing. Um, let's see. Aqua, these are all one and a half inch. Aqua Oasis, six yards. Uh, Badger Yellow in six yards. Black in 12 yards. Bubblegum, one of my favorites. It's like Imperium pink almost. 12 yards. Um, Caribbean Mint, six yards. That turned back on. Um, I guess I got two three-yard cuts of um, Eagle Blue. Um, I got 12 yards of Lilac. And Melissa had sent me a scrap because I had asked her about it. Um, and then she sent me some Geeky Fuse, Geeky, Geeky Fleece to try out. Um, we were talking about fleece because... Um, I'm teaching at the Wizardry Getaway, which if you haven't signed up and you would like to come, it's going to be amazing. There are still tickets. You should come. But anyways, we will be making my steering wheel cover and we use fleece in it. Um, so we were discussing that because she was going to need to get fleece. And she's like, I sell fleece. And I was like, I didn't know that. And she's like, yeah, not many people do. So I was like, I will try it. Um, so that's really cool. I'm excited to try it. Um, I got a package from, I don't know how you say it, Schlotty, Schlotty, Schlady? I'm not sure. Um, if you've ever seen the, my, um, my Juki from like my view, there is a sticker of a cat, a galaxy cat, but it's shaped like Ohio, and I love it so much. But um, I got a wholesale order from her uh, on fair because I want to sell some of these at shows. I'm really excited. Um, so I got, oh, thank you, Brittany. Honored to be a new little piece of your online shop, the Imperium. <laughs> Kelly. So cute. Um, yeah, so she has these Ohio cats and I have like five of them already, but I got some different colors. So, oh, they're not all Ohio cats either. I got a lot of the orange cat. 
I think I have the orange cat. The funny thing is they're like all up here. Do I not have the orange cat? I didn't have the orange cat. I needed it. Uh-huh. Okay. See? I did need the orange cat. Look how cute they look. Okay. Um, I had the gray cat because of Leo. Here is a light gray. Calico. I'm going to have to give Tiffany one of these. I had the black cat. And then I also have a tortie and um, a, a, another tabby. Wait, this might be the one I have too. I just looked at them. But I made sure all my cats were covered. So these were all the Ohio ones she had available. And then I also got a bunch of holographic regular ones. So there is like a reddish pink galaxy. Um, the white cat with the dual colored eyes. Um, if you see any of these that are like your specific cat and you really want one, let me know. Um, and I can sell them to you. Uh, we have like Flame Point with blue eyes. Brianna's got one of those. Um, just your standard cat lady. Oh, I think I am mixing these up a little. They're like orange tabby. Brownish orange. This one's really cute. A little flower crown. Gray. Tuxedo. Some of them have um, the same colors, but their eye colors are different. Gray tabby. There is calico. Um, white with yellow green eyes. White with blue eyes, light gray tabby, um, dark gray, light gray tabby. Alright, are these different? Yes, okay. Orange tabby with like yellow orange eyes, like amber eyes. And orange tabby with green yellow eyes. Black with yellow eyes. Black with yellow green eyes. And then Tordy. And finally, Blue Galaxy. So this is the one I have on my machine, but it's Ohio. So I'm really excited. Um, she sells little art prints too, but where'd the paper go? Yeah, so I, I got these wholesale. Um, I might add them to my online website. We'll see. Um, so she does have suggested retail. So the Ohio ones will be $3. And then the holographic ones will be $3.50. So again, if there's any you specifically want, let me know. And I can um, invoice you or add it to an order. So, yep. I am still working on prepping my rosies for my sewing weekend. Today is Tuesday. I leave Friday morning. Um, I'm going to get this purse pal finished. And then... I have some other stuff to record. I've been going crazy on cat toys, but um, I have to sew a couple of strikes. I have a couple of videos I'm going to record, so I'm excited. The kids are back at school today. It's the first day back after spring break, so hopefully get some recording in before I leave for the weekend. Catch you in the next one. I look amazing. Today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday night. Um, yesterday, we had... A forecast for like horrendous weather. Um, we were at the Torcon scale. We were at a seven, um, which I guess means seventy percent chance of like 
strong tornadoes. Um, we got lucky. It shifted south of us. There were a lot of unlucky people. There were multiple tornadoes yesterday. But it started to rain heavily. And um, it is 9 p.m. right now. Last night at about 2 a.m. I was sewing and um, found water coming up. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've been dealing with for the last, like, 21 hours. All right. So this is normally here and that's normally there. Mike is in there. Um, the sump pump. You can see those cracks. There's water. <sighs> oh, here comes more water. Um, so... We have had horrid, horrid, oh, there's a bunch, horrid weather today. And we've lived here um, six years. This is the third time I think this has happened. Um, there's so much rain in, like, everywhere. Yeah, see, it's just, uh, the water is coming up from my floor. So, uh, it's like 1 a.m., I think. But thankfully, I was up sewing. It is, like, past 2 a.m. Um, yeah. All of the towels in the house are soaked. Um, this is now running under that wall. Um, there's water in, like, every corner of the basement. Um, I don't remember it ever coming in this far over here. Um, I guess at this point I have <laughs> gotten everything as best I can get it. And I'm just gonna have to let it drain to the other corner of the basement. Um... We'll see how much work I can get done tomorrow, depending. Because uh, I didn't plan on staying up all night. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> doing this, I think he thinks he's stuck and can't get back over here. Uh, yeah, so this is fun. I have everything as safe as I can. So I've gone to bed at like 3, 3.30, and it's like 7.15. I just came down here. Um, Mike had tried last night to change the towels. <sighs> um, this never happened before. So, like, it is in over here. My shelf looks like that now. It came in from under here, which has never happened. It's... And it's, oh, um, Mike told me last night he had started taking my green machine to suck the water up, and I just did a bunch. I gotta make sure my son leaves the house to go to school, and then I'm gonna try a little bit more. This sucks. Okay, so it is almost 3.30, and honestly, I haven't been down here. Since like 11.30, we just got to a point where we were like, uh, nothing is literally going to help. We could be standing here all day and the water just keeps coming. So right here, still have some water. Thankfully, on Monday, I had tried ordering these tubs for a Walmart delivery. And they said they didn't have them, but they could ship them for free. They came today. So I'm going to be able to get some stuff into those and off my tables. But not walking through here for a while you can kind of get an idea so that fabric at the very bottom is wet now I will have to move it um but like see this is just like the fabric is all dry but the very edge of that but this is coming from under there, which everything on my shelves is fine. It's just under. And then 
this is kind of like the paths that are coming from under here. There's a little paw prints, um, but yeah, it's right under my industrials, and then it flows in a couple different spots. There are some drier spots right now, um, so I'm going to try to mop this now and see if maybe I can get some stuff done tonight, um, so fingers crossed. Okay, so 21 hours later, um, I have moved all of the bottom row fabric. Um, there is a little bit that needs washed. My interfacing has been safe. Um, this one spot has mostly stopped, but this area, it's really hard to tell on here. Well, there you go. Um, water is like still coming in here. Um... I moved all of my waterproof canvas from the bottom, even though it's waterproof, I just didn't want it in it. Um, the bottom row of vinyl is now in this tub. Everything that is, like, on the floor is in some sort of plastic tub, yeah. So I just sucked a bunch of water up again, but, yeah, I can see... It's literally <laughs> coming in from the basement on the other side of that wall. It's coming in here bad still. It's just, I can't do anything. So, yeah. So anyways, that's what I've been dealing with. Um, it's not good by any means. So I'm going to show you a couple things I made. I'm going to end the vlog early. Um, I'm going to make sure I can just get it up loaded before I leave Friday morning to go to St. Louis. I know I was going to show you all these things that I had prepped. Um, I'm going to try to show you a couple of them, but I think I'm going to be cutting linings at Lauren's. I don't know. Uh, so let's see here. And I'm like holding my phone because it's a messer. Okay. I made a purse pal. It's super cute. I did a tutorial, so you can check that video out. Um, Fabric Therapy Smooth Vinyl. It is a retail print. Um, go check the retail. Mormino Lux Vinyl. This black is releasing April 15th. Um, some other Fabric Therapy Retail Strikes is this really cute Choco Cat print. I made a clear peekaboo. I also have a video for that. And then... I also made a um, cute little pencil pouch. This is a Sweetly Unique pattern. also have a video on that. And I finished this um, Moon Dance. So the print is a Mormino print that I just dropped. It is the Denim Blue Floral critical dice and then this yellow is dropping on April 15th with that black um also have a moon dance video I was actually making that when I realized I had sewn something wrong and I got up to grab a scrap of interfacing and all of a sudden my socks were wet so but I am like emotionally drained um had a little breakdown earlier but it's fine it's all going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Um, but I didn't get any work done today. I probably won't really get any work done tomorrow and then I leave Friday. So, the important thing is that all my fabric and my vinyl and my machines and everything are safe. But I hear it raining outside again. It's supposed to rain tomorrow too. I don't know when the water is going to stop. I can't do anything to actually stop it and I just have to let it run literally through my basement. So next week I'm probably going to have to go through the rest of the basement and get rid of some stuff and move some stuff and it just really sucks because <coughs> I was like getting ahead of things and every time I start to get ahead I fall backwards because something that I literally can't make up happens. I don't even know if I mentioned I pinched a nerve like in my neck 
on Monday too. It's feeling better. That's feeling better. But yeah. <sighs> Jumped up here and knocked a toy over. Um, I'm working on a rosy that will match that purse pal. I have this really cute B's and T's Tuesday tote that I'm working on for custom order. And then let me flip the camera to show you. I'm sorry. I know it's like shaky, but there's water everywhere. I'm literally staying in water, but all my phone mounts, I can't get to them. Okay. Say hi, George. All right. So the majority of the ones I'm making are the Hex Reject Taylor Swift cat prints. There is. So this is so cute. And I'll, I'll share them when I'm done. Um, there's that one. that one it's a mess right here but I've been throwing things everywhere to get them safe this one is so cute with that um, this one uh, midnight and lover so cute reputation with black and then another mashup with cream like an orange. Um, I have this one I cut out five months ago. No exaggeration. I have a custom order one I cut out. I've got this Annette. I started forever ago. Um, this one is cut out for a custom. Then I had some other random things. So we'll see what all I take and what all I get done. I will report back in. Thank you for watching. It's been an interesting vlog. I'm sorry to cut it short. And not get to really share what I'm taking with me. But I promise I will try to record some while I'm gone this weekend. And I'll let you know in the next one how my office is shaping up. I did need to finish Fabric Therapy, Retail Strikes, The Alice, and The Star Wars. Um, but I can't sew right now. Um, I have plans to record a tutorial with The Alice fabric. And... Um, oh, I'm not good at this. I talked to Lauren. I might record a tutorial, um, at her machine. It'll be interesting. We'll see. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have a better weekend than I have had week. Have a great day. Bye.